accounts. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to go through your COVID-19 questionnaire. Um, in this questionnaire, I'm asking you to do it on April 6th, and it'll become available April 6th in the morning, and then it'll be not available at the end of the week. So we're trying to make sure that everybody can get this done before Friday. All right, well, without any further ado, let's fill it out. All right, well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again. Um, now we are going to be starting your screen tutorial. So this is where I want you to do. When you get your Canvas opened, go ahead and click your home, and this is where I'm at right now, and you'll see basically my schedule, the questions, when you can meet with me in office hours, and, and basically what we're doing for this week. So this is kind of the schedule and, and how we're going about it, doing it. The assignment is super easy. It's a form, so I want you to go to your assignments by clicking assignment, and then I'm going to have you open COVID-19 assignment, which again, it's starting 4-6, which will be tomorrow for me, but for you guys, anytime after Monday, this will be available. All right. So this as a link, if you just click on the coronavirus uh, link right here, it's going to take you to the form. And this is what I want you to do. I want you to click on the link and the ones that are starred are required. So you'll need to write your name there. I'm just going to go ahead and, and write my name in here, just like I was you. And under class, go ahead and choose whichever class. Now, currently, I'm in my um, uh, ACMA classes, so you're going to see Tech 1, Tech 2, Theater 1. Um, please feel free to select the class that you belong to. And when I'm asking for your student body number, I, I'm looking for, like, there's a six-digit number uh, followed by at bsd48.org. And there you go. That's what you should fill out there. Okay, so this next question is asking you, do you have uh, a working computer with Wi-Fi? Yes or no? Um, so that's a yes or no. But life is more complicated. I'm, I also say, well, I have a computer, it might be your Chromebook, but no Wi-Fi. Okay, well, you have Wi-Fi, but maybe your computer broke or you don't have your Chromebook or something's happened and you don't have a computer. So mark that, whichever one's correct. All right, moving on. I'm asking here, are you able to meet um, April 6th through 10th for either the class time or the office hours? So if you scroll down here, you're going to see Monday, it's, uh, it meets for us in this class at 6, at 12.30. Um, this class would be meeting at 1 o'clock, and this class is meeting at 1.30 on Thursday. Now, those are for just 20 minutes. It's real easy. I'm just going over this assignment and checking in with you. I also have office hours, which are on the other slide, and you can find that on your home, too. So, yeah, I'd like you to write down, yes, I can meet that, or no, geez, I've got a history class. It's in the way. I can't make it on either of those times, or I can only make it for this one. Just let me know what you can do. I'm real curious about this. Um, I might come back and make this a mandatory question because I really want to know what the other schedules are. So I have to answer by typing in something. I'm just going to say yes, and yes again. So it should let me go. Okay. This next part is the personal health, um, and I'm very interested in collecting this data because I want to know well, how you're doing. So a lot of this is, um, I would consider it private information. Um, there is a note here, though, self-harm or harming others will resort, result in me reporting it right away to appropriate authorities. It's my job, and I took an oath. I must follow that oath. Um, I have 24 hours to report it if you are harming yourself or someone else. So please note, I do follow the law. Okay, so, but other than that, please, let's be truthful with each other. I want to know if you're having the mental issues. So how are you mentally holding up? Are you having trauma? If you're having trauma daily, I want you to write number one. If you're having trauma, like, maybe every other day, you're pretty much in a one or a two. You're, you're having a lot of trauma. Some people are just feeling down. You know, that's kind of normal. You've been in the house for, I'm in 23 days now. But if you're doing okay and you're like keeping chipper mentally, then then you want to be a four or five. That's absolutely right. Okay, um, how has your emotional health been holding up? So again, same thing. If you're having emotional trauma every day, and it's not because you're watching a sad movie, but because you are expressing yourself emotionally in what you would classify as traumatic um, once a day, you're down here in the one. If you're having it like once every other day, I you know one maybe two. Um, you know, you're having one episode a week, 
you're going to be a three. It's okay. Uh, you're holding up fours and fives. Okay. How are you doing socially? Sometimes when you're isolated as long as we've been isolated, um, you can feel distant and awkward talking to people. Socially, are you struggling to, to connect with your friends or is it more of a challenge to stay unsocial? If you're having a hard time staying unsocial, you're doing all right. Some people, if you're not able to connect or if it's feeling weird to connect to people or you know, you're just not able to connect with your age group right now, go ahead and, and click me in the one so I know if you're you're not doing so well socially. Okay. Um, you know, it's okay to answer, hey, I'm doing all right. I'm normal. And then that's fine. That'd be round of three. Do you have enough space to function as a student? So what I'm asking is we're quarantined to be at our house. Well, I'm not sure what your house looks like. So I need to ask, you know, do you have enough space to be a student? If I ask you to read something, could you do that successfully? For my spatial learners, they need a quiet place to read. Some people can do it. Some people can't. So I'm just going to start filling in some of these. So the computer will let me move forward. Um, I'm going to say I do have enough space, yes. And what things are you struggling with to be successful um, at home right now as a student? So some people might write, you know, family is, is hard for me to relate to. Maybe you're having a hard time uh, my own space. You know, maybe you're just having a hard time kind of being able to be yourself. So let me know here what, what's going on. Anything you need to talk about. So this is open-ended. I want to know if I'm missing something that I, I should have been talking about up here. Um, remember, I'm your teacher. I'm not a counselor, but again, I'm here for you. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can ask me. And if I don't know, I'll, I'll happily say, hey, I don't know, but um, I'll try to connect you with the person that does. So here's the big one, and this is a mandatory fill-in. I, I kind of want you to self-assess yourself. Um, are you doing okay? So I'm asking, uh, how would you self assess yourself as far as health? If you feel like you're sick, that would be down here. If you feel like you're a hundred percent, that'd be over here. You know, if you've been quarantined and you're a little cooped up, you know, that might be here. But if you're in quarantine and you're just a little cooped up, that wouldn't be down here. This is for people who are sick, mentally, emotionally, physically, socially, um, all the different kinds of sickness that we can have. Okay. All right. So once you enter that, the last one's the bonus section. This bonus section is basically a uh, self, I call it the sharing self reduction strategies, which I'll be talking about. Once all of your classmates have filled this uh, out, I will share this in a way that we can all see it. But of course I'll keep it anonymous unless you want me to share your name, in which case I will. Um, please make sure I understand where the reference is coming from so I don't, um, you know, put something harmful down. If I don't understand what you're saying, I'll ask you to clarify. So uh, what book would you recommend? If you read a good book over break, please let us know. We always want to know what good book there is. Hey, what movie would you recommend? And I'm talking about movie to downline stream uh, on your movie streaming source. And let me know what streaming source you use. Disney Plus has been fun at our house. Uh, what TV series show would you recommend? So there's lots of TV shows. The Mandalorian is something our family just tackled, but there's lots of cool stuff out there. Hey, let us know what you're into. What music group or album would you recommend? Um, if you discovered something new or if something else is just feeling really good right now, this is where you'd write it. What theater show or musical would you recommend? Have you been listening to theater music? Have you been thinking about a theater show? Uh, there's a lot of shows online. I'm looking into that right now, too. So if you found some shows online or if you found something that you want to share, this is the spot to share it. Um, these last two are my favorite. Um, who is your COVID-19 hero and why? So I I'm just going to reach out and say, like, all those people who've been stocking the shelves and going into stores or around people who are sneezing and coughing, those are heroes because they're putting themselves out on the line. I'm very proud of those stockers that are in the regular stores that are stocking the shelves. Those are my COVID heroes. Okay. And have you started a journal about COVID-19, uh, the closures, maybe what your experience is in? Almost like Anne Frank. Um, this would be a really good idea to do it. You're not trying to escape the Nazis. You're trying to escape uh, coronavirus, COVID-19. So this might be a fun time to create some stories. It's not too late to start a diary or a journal. Um, I really like the idea of creating something through this pandemic. So what theater skill would you like to increase during your COVID-19? So this is what I'd like you to write there, you know, something that would tell me about what you're actually thinking.
And once you're done, all you have to do is hit the submit button and that's it. So once you hit the submit button, it's going to say, oh yeah, that's got to be answered. Okay, acting. And boom, that's it. You're done. See, that wasn't so hard. All right, well, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this tutorial. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in office hours or in class. Do your homework. <laughs>